Humans have been changing the sound of the oceans since we first started exploring the seas, but our ocean presence has exploded over the last five decades. The world that these long-lived creatures have experienced has changed on a geologic scale. We are seeing just a different planet. Some whales, they live to be 150 to 200 years old. When those whales were teenagers, the world was quiet. Okay, so if I disrupt your ability to hunt, or if I disrupt the ability of a female to make a choice between the best singers because she can only hear the ones that are closest to her, what's the impact of that? Getting lost in the ocean must be terrifying to a young whale. It can't find its mother, it can't find its family. A lost whale, in that sense, would be likely a dead whale. Some of the sound may come from the engines that's transmitted through the hull, but the majority of it comes from what is happening right at the propeller. It's called cavitation. That's when the bubbles created by the blades of the propeller collapse and burst underwater. It's not so much the collapse of an individual bubble, it's all of them at once creating a very loud hiss. Ship's engines generate noise as well. Basically, the way ship engines are historically built is you bolt them to the frame. And then it vibrates the frame and makes that sound transmit through all the steel or the hull and out into the water. But over the last 60 years, the number of ships moving over the global surface of the world has increased dramatically. You can look at the curves and it's just going up and up and up and up. It really is just like a highway. You know, the Los Angeles Freeway or the Long Island Expressway. And if you looked at the taillights of those cars, it would be solid light. That's the shipping lane. Where in this case, the light is all the noise from all the ships. Is there any evidence that all this noise is making life difficult for whales and fishes? 